In this lecture snippet, I want to focus in on the data attribute for our MFT record. And you'll notice that it actually is going to start with the hexadecimal value of 80. And so I typically refer to this as the 80 attribute. And really what it's going to be giving us the information of is actually where the file is located on our hard drive. And there are going to be two different locations depending on what the file is classified as. And it's either going to be a resident or a non-resident file. Resident files are going to typically be less than 512 bytes in size. And this resident file itself will actually be stored in the master file table record. And so if it's small enough, it'll actually keep it within the record itself. Now the non-resident files are going to be too large to be stored within the two sectors that are allocated for the record itself. And so files that are typically 512 bytes or larger are going to be called non-resident files and they're going to be stored elsewhere on the hard drive. And this attribute, the data attribute, will point to those locations. And so I'm going to be working with two different files. I'm going to work with the findme.rtf, which I've worked in previous videos on this series with, as well as the find me with spaces, because one of these files is a resident file and the other is a non-resident file. And so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the offset information for this particular attribute. At offset 4 and offset 5, we're going to find the size of our attribute. And so I've got it highlighted here, this attribute itself, and it's going to typically either follow the 30, which is the file name attribute, or the 40, which is the object ID attribute. And in this case, it followed the file name itself. And you can see findme.rtf is listed here, and it's going to be directly after that. So I've got the 80 attribute. I'm going to count over 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 from that attribute itself. And I will find the value 1801. And like in previous attributes, this is in little endian format, which means if I were to convert that over to hexadecimal, I'll do that as 0118 which if I converted that over to decimal, I would find that it was 280 bytes. And that'll be the size of my entire attribute, the data attribute itself. Now I want to also point out that at offset 08, or 8 spots over, we are going to find out whether or not this file is a resident or non-resident file. And so it's going to be located right here. Now if it's 00, that's going to indicate that the file is a resident file and it's going to be stored here in the MFT. Now if it did say 01, that would indicate that it would be a non-resident file. And so since I'm working with a resident file, I can find that the beginning of that data information is going to be found at offset 18, or 24 spots over from the beginning of the attribute itself. And so I'm going to go ahead and highlight that right here and it's going to continue down and this is going to be the actual file itself and it was a small text file in rich text format and you can see here that I've got some of the text this is a really small file that I created for lecture snippets and so that was the actual text that I had in the file and you can see that information is listed here and as I scroll down you'll see that it eventually ends and then you'll start seeing that the rest of the sector is filled in with zeros and you can usually look for the set of F's to indicate the ending information of that MFT record itself. And so this is using a resident file. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example of a non-resident file. And so this is going to be the find me with spaces file. And I can see that the beginning of the actual MFT record up here. I can see the short name and as I scroll down I'll see the full name itself or the long name. I actually have an attribute for the object ID and I'm going to go ahead and highlight that there. And so after this attribute, I've actually got the data attribute starting here with this 80 value or hexadecimal 80 value. And so if I look over here at the size, I can see I'll highlight the size here, 7000, that's at offset 4 and 5. I'll be able to determine if I were to convert that over from little Indian over to hexadecimal and then from hexadecimal over to decimal. I will find that I have 112 bytes that will make up the actual attribute itself. If I go over to offset 8, I see a 01, which is going to indicate to me that it is a non-resident file. And so if I look here, I'll see that non-resident files are actually going to start off at offset 40 in hexadecimal, which is going to be 64 spots over if I were to use the decimal numbering system. And so I'm going to go ahead and start here. This is where it actually will start. And this is going to give me the information that lets me know where my file is actually going to be located on the hard drive. And it does it in two different ways. It uses what's called a logical cluster number. Now that'll be the first position of this. Um, and that's going to tell me where the cluster is actually going to start. And then from that point on, it's going to use relative offsets. And they're going to be called virtual cluster numbers that tell me where the fragments of the file exist if the file is fragmented on my hard drive. Now in the next video, I'm actually going to get in and break down the logical cluster numbers and the virtual cluster numbers of this file.
file. But in this video, I just want to point out that this is the information here that's going to let me know where the file is located on the hard drive. And now if I highlight just a little bit more, I want to show you that the actual logical cluster number as well as the virtual cluster numbers will end right here. And I'll break that down further in the next video. But I also want to point out that you'll see that the part of the file is still left behind. And that's because at one time this file was actually a resident file and then I added a photo to it and it became a non-resident file. So while it was a resident file it actually was stored here in the master file table record and then once it got too large the, all the data information left and it's now stored somewhere else in the hard drive. So this is actually left over from the time that it was actually a resident file. So this, even though you see this data here it is not necessarily there any longer. And so this is the video on the data attribute for files for both resident and non-resident files.